at the Williamsburg Airport. It was fair. The temperature was 59 degrees. In Somerset, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 64 degrees. At Monticello, it was mostly cloudy. The visibility was 10 miles. The wind was south at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.06 inches and rising. At Bowling Green, rain was falling with a temperature of 67. At Frankfurt, fog was reported with a temperature of 58. At Lexington, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 61. It was cloudy with a temperature of 63 at Richmond. Let's talk about what are the odds of it all. The irony of it. Today makes 52 days alone in Appalachia off-grid. And today I'm 52 years old. What's the odds of that? Kind of ironic, ain't it? 52 years old, off-grid. That's a big deal. At least it is to me. Why, it seems only yesterday I was a little fella with my pants legs rolled up to my knees playing in the creek. Mom yelling at me, threatening to whip me if I didn't get out of the water. Afraid it'd make me sick. Fifty-two years old. Time gets away so fast, and we forget and lose so much. But I tell you, as long as I keep my right mind about me, and I'm able, I'll remember these days of being off-grid. You see, up here, it's an adjusting discipline. You have to be willing to adjust and discipline to do it. At home, a lot of times, we'll put things off till tomorrow, I'll get tomorrow. I'll get it later. I'm sure you can't do that. If you see it needs to be done and you've got daylight, you better lay hands on it and get it done because it'll catch up with you. Now, people's ask me what my purpose is up here. What am I trying to prove? I know why I'm here. I'm not trying to prove nothing to no one but myself. You see, up here you figure out just what kind of person you are, what kind of fella you are. And no one questions me harder than myself. No one. Especially when I'm struggling. And we all question ourselves. We just have to be honest with ourselves and give ourselves a truthful answer. <laughs> I said I'd take you all the way with me. With or without the network. And that's what I aim to do. If at all possible. Now I'm not leaving this mountain. Until I'm done. That's my sole purpose and intention. Now that's enough of that. The line has been slow this week. Before I get into that, let me say it's not about bed and steel, doing water sets, putting up record numbers, catching bobcats, coats, and beaver, and kicking your feet up. Being up here is about being up here, about the learning experience, about the fibers of your makeup. Trapping is just a bonus. Trapping is just a part of it. Seeing nature as it is is just a part of it. Exploring, seeing things you've not seen before is just a part of it. The work is a definite. It's work to be up here now. There's very little time to kick your feet up. And if you do have that kind of time, you better savor it. Enjoy every second of it because it rarely comes around. 
But like I said, you know, the line's been slow, and it is what it is. Now, I've caught a few things along the way. I caught an old straggly-looking male coyote. You go on, you go on. You ain't going nowhere. You've come to the end of the road, son. Oh, he was a rough-looking Jasper, too. He wasn't old. He just looked like he had a hard life. I guess kind of like me, <laughs> in a way. But I caught him in the drag, the same drag I caught the other two. And he was running for the rosy Brothers. And I put the brakes on him. I stepped on the drag. Front pad catch. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Be all right. Ain't nobody like Rosa Bros to the butt. I gotta be careful because he could turn on me. He looked like he's pretty exhausted though. He's wouldn't advise that, but that's what I did. Didn't want to deal with them Rosa Bros again. <laughs> but he was a rough looking fella. Woo. Call a beaver. What a record breaker, but still a nice beaver. And a beaver nonetheless. There's more in there, and I'll get them. It's going to take me some time. I do a lot of walking. The saga continues. Yeah. Even on my birthday. Do a lot of walking. See a lot of things in nature that I've never seen before. Pond was froze over solid. Nearly four inches of ice. Now, my wife made me promise that I wouldn't get out on the ice, and I didn't. It would have held me easily, but I didn't get out on the ice. It wasn't because I was afraid. It was I made her promise. So I spent the better part of the day with a roof bolt, busting ice. Some of you fellas around. The mining industry knows what a roof bolt is. They don't look it up. Big five eighths inch roof bolt. Nearly all day busting ice. It was hard. But I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, and I caught a few possums. Can't forget the possums for you trappers. We all know about the grinner. Wreck a set. There you are. And I caught a skunk. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. <laughs> you might as well come up out of there, buddy. Your pissing don't scare me. Oh, you got both hands in it. Ain't going nowhere. Well, at least we're not skunked. Good looking fella. Yep. I like catching skunks now. I'm just going to be honest with you. Smell don't bother me at all. No. Catching a skunk will keep you on your toes. Had a fella to say, you catch a skunk, you keep it. It keeps the viruses and flus and colds away. I said, it does. He said, yeah, you catch a skunk, you keep it close by, and nobody will come around and bring the flu in on you. <sighs> I guess he's right. But like I say, I, I walk a lot. 
I walk in places I could take the side by side, but I'd rather walk. You miss a whole lot of things in nature by riding. Walking, you get to see everything. That's good. Saw some pretty country. Saw some pretty country. Froze over a lot of places. But oh, beautiful country. I had uh, wood getting a little thin, and that was a bearing on my mind. <laughs> I gotta go get wood this week. I've got to go get wood. A long winter ahead of me. It worried me. I knew we had weather coming. But Big Fred and my brother Little Fred and me, we cut and split four truckloads of wood. I'm just being honest. Being off-grid in the Appalachian Mountains during trap season isn't only about trapping. It's not just about catching coyotes, bobs, and beavers, drinking beer, throwing your feet up, and resting and relaxing. No. There's very little time for that. When you get those days, you better savor those days. See that wood pile? Okay. That mess, too. i got to clean that mess up. <coughs> now look at that wood pile. We cut and split four truckloads of wood yesterday. And I can feel every block of wood, trust me. Oh, that was a load off me. You don't know how big a necessity wood is if that's all you got to keep you warm. I stacked about two loads of it, covered the rest. But I'm telling you, children, it's been an experience, one that I've enjoyed, one that I'll long remember. And we're not done yet. Got rain. Got snow coming. Got more steel to set. Got beavers to catch. Got wood to, to stack. Got nights to get through. Now I could go home. Got a good woman. Got a good home. I miss the comforts of home. Miss my family. But I'm here. And I'll be here. Miss you all. Conversations and the chats. The messages. The live streaming. Went live the other day for the first time about 30 days, I guess. I was asked what was my hardest struggle being off grid. It's missing my family and my friends. That's the hardest struggle so far. Not being cold. I've got plenty to eat. I'm warm. But missing my family, my wife, and my friends. That's the hardest struggle so far. So far. But I'll manage. I'll adjust. 
I'll discipline myself. We'll keep moving forward. And that's just the way it is. Nevertheless, this is your boy string bean. I always go farther, stay longer. I appreciate you all. I really do.